Welcome back to Indonesia Highlights. Now, um, we would like to talk to you about the current um, um, situation in Indonesia. As a young democracy, as mentioned by one of the students who asked you a question, and also a partner to the US, it's important for uh, democracy to be implemented here in Indonesia. And another milestone is taking place, um, legislative election and presidential election in, in, in the next few weeks. Um, how, how do you see the process of democracy going on in Indonesia? Well, I think, first of all, I'd like to say that your country has made uh, remarkable progress since 1998 mm -hmm. in creating a very strong and vibrant democracy. Mm -hmm. um, you have one of the strongest democracies in the world now. Uh, you're a, a country that is increasingly tolerant towards all different religions. Mm -hmm. You value diversity. So all of those are, are very, very important attributes of your democracy. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons that we're working with you to promote democracy in other countries, in places like Myanmar and now in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. um, with respect to your current elections, we don't have a, a candidate. We are neutral. And we have uh, great faith in the, the choice of uh, the Indonesian people. But we do support a free and fair process. Uh, and we're confident that, that uh, you'll be able to achieve that. What, what do you expect from the, from the new government, from the new leadership that's taking place soon? Well, we want to work on, on all of our big objectives. One is to promote more trade and investment between our two countries. So we want to encourage as open a market economy here in this country. Um, secondly, we want to work to promote educational ties. So we want to um, ease some of the burdens that now exist for American universities who are trying to come in here. It can often be very difficult and burdensome to, to get a permit to do various kinds of research. So we'd like to work with the new government to, to make that as easy as possible. Mm -hmm. And we, more beyond government, we want to work to establish more ties between all these educational mm -hmm. institutions, between American universities and uh, their Indonesian counterparts. Mm -hmm. And then third, we want to work on climate change. Mm -hmm. Um, our two countries are two of the world's five largest emitters of greenhouse gases. So what we can do together to reduce those emissions will really matter to our countries and to the world. Okay. Now you speak of openness and uh, the uh, ASEAN economic trade it will be implemented in 2015. Yes. Uh, in, in a very uh, short future. Now, how do you think Indonesia, how, how do you see Indonesia's readiness towards that openness? Well, I think, you, you know, your economy is becoming more open, and I think that uh, all of those kinds of initiatives are very welcome because they will uh, open not only this market, but the entire ASEAN market for American investors and, and American exporters. Uh, so we strongly support that. Um, we'd love to see Indonesia become a part of the Trans-Pacific uh, Partnership as well, which is perhaps a little bit further down the line. Mm -hmm. But that is um, an, a trade agreement that will be open to all countries in, in the Asia Pacific. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, we see uh, Indonesia as already a very strong partner, and we'd like to see that partnership grow. All right. And but. Uh because we are open to um, trades, um, international trades, not just ASEAN. So what do you think um, Indonesia should, should sharpen on the qualities that Indonesia have to boost competitiveness in the, in the open market? Well, I, you know, a, a number of things. Um, first of all, one of the things that one is struck by when one comes here is that there's still a lot of work that needs to be done on yeah. infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of the business community talks about that. Um, a lot of the logistics costs and trucking costs are very mm -hmm. high because of the infrastructure bottlenecks that, that uh, take place. So if the new government can help to um, reduce those bottlenecks, I think that will help the competitiveness of, of your economy overall, mm -hmm. but will particularly help uh, with manufactured um, exports, which are often the heart of a value-added economy. Right now, much of your economy is, is dependent on commodity exports to China, right. as well as a, a very large internal domestic demand, which is good. Mm -hmm. But if you can also then add a, a very strong manufactured export component, that will provide balance and resilience to your economy and, uh, and would be, again, uh, further enhance uh, the attractiveness of your economy to, to outside mm -hmm. investment. Outside world. Well, thank you very much. Unfortunately, our time is very short. We would love to have more discussion with you about um, Indonesia, entrepreneurship, innovation, and democracy. Um, thank you very much I appreciate uh, the opportunity. for the thank short you so conversation. Much. And that has been a short conversation with the U.S. Ambassador to Indonesia, Mr. Robert Blake. Um, back to the studio. Thank you for watching.